YouTube is a 24-7, 365 operation. You're always on. You have to look at the comments, you have to look at your emails, and you have to keep close attention to what your subscribers are telling you. However, many content creators out there do not even care. They don't look at the comments, they are disengaged with their fan base, their subscribers. But I think that is a big mistake because commenters are real people. It's not just words on a screen. Some real person, in most cases, has typed that out because they want to let you know how they feel. Maybe they're giving you constructive criticism. Maybe they're giving you praise. And most people, or some people, don't even care to look at it. And that, I think, is a quite a shame. For myself, I've always maintained a focus on really having my appreciation shown for all of the subscribers. I put a lot of work into YouTube over the years. I started in 2011. I have a lot of videos on here. I mean, there's been over 1200 plus videos on YouTube. And now what's happened with the demonetization has really been quite saddening to me because I've really, really worked hard to put in my effort into YouTube as a business. And YouTube has decided to go this route. Currently, my work is on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. A few of the old videos are on Daily Motion as a backup. I've more recently got into Steemit. I've also gone into a new one called DTube. And that is essentially a decentralized blockchain type of YouTube replacement. I think it could be very good. It's in the very, very early stages, but essentially it works with Steam or Steemit. And you can earn a little bit of cryptocurrency, but even if you're not interested in that, you can just get on that website and watch the videos. So I'm trying to upload now. I'm, I'm having some issues uh, during the upload, but I'm sure that will be figured out sooner or later, and you'll be able to watch my videos on there as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with YouTube exactly because I am quite upset at them. However, that's where my big fan base is. So I don't want to necessarily just alienate them and drop all videos. So I'm in a bit of a dilemma at this time. YouTube is not paying me anything. I even did that video you probably saw yesterday, just my face. It's in front of the blank wall as we have here. And it was about, you know, positive messages. And there was nothing controversial, nothing at all in the video except me talking. And they said that apparently that couldn't be monetized. So you hit the little button that says uh, review my work. But by the time they review it, you know, it's already done. I mean, my videos generally get the most views on the day one, day two, and then it starts to slowly uh, decline. However, you know, if they're going to approve the monetization after three, five, 10 days, you know, by then there aren't many views. So I, you know, I'm really upset about it. Just the whole thing. It doesn't make any sense. If the videos were about war, like some of them are, I didn't even bother requesting a review. But the ones that are truly not controversial and they could have advertisements on them, they're still getting their you know, demonetized and it's just, it's so upsetting. And a lot of people would say, uh, you know, you're just being, um, you know, ridiculous. Is there a private company? They could do whatever they want. Listen, let's say you worked a nine to five job. Okay. You worked at McDonald's and McDonald's says that you're getting paid. Let's just say $10 an hour. Okay. So you make 10 bucks an hour. You work at McDonald's and you work an eight hour shift. The first four hours you get paid. And then the second four hours, you don't get paid, but you still have to work. What would you say? All of a sudden, you showed up tomorrow at work and they tell you, these four hours, you're getting paid. After lunch, you're not getting paid. If you don't show up at that second one, you're fired. And then you say, you know what? Forget it. I quit. I don't need to deal with this. I'm going to go get paid. You go next door. 
Oh, but that's McDonald's too. Look around, that's McDonald's, that's McDonald's. They're all McDonald's, $10 an hour everywhere. And instead, you go to Wendy's, okay? You go to Wendy's, all right, you walk in. But Wendy's, they're only paying 50 cents an hour. And so you can work there, you can get paid all eight hours, but you're only getting 50 cents an hour. So what are you going to do? Now you're in trouble. So that's the way YouTube is working because they're truly the only real competition is themselves. They don't really have sort of um, any other big platforms out there that do what they do. And they're able to make certain people who have a lot of subscribers, they can make a lot of money on YouTube. And if you're demonetized, of course, you're not going to make anything. But you go to the competition. That's right. Oh, wait a minute. There is no competition. And the only competition, such as, let's say, Steemit, for example, you make a fraction. You're only going to make a fraction of the amount of money. And I'm talking about a small fraction for a lot of people, from what I've understood. And that's right there. That's where it gets me, because a lot of people don't really understand. Or they just want to, you know, talk a big game or whatever. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to let you know that I'm in a bit of a dilemma right now. I'll continue making the videos. They'll get demonetized. That's fine. I'm hoping YouTube will change this. They're not going to change it. So as a result, I'm trying to figure out alternatives. So there's people that have been sponsor, uh, supporting me and everything, and I'm so appreciative of that. But I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to have to rely on Patreon or, or PayPal or, or Bitcoin or cryptocurrency donations. Although that's amazing that people have been donating, I don't want to rely on that. I want to give free information. I even considered working on my own, just dropping YouTube, working on my own website and having the ability for people to come to my website and have my own videos, my own platform on my own website. But in order to do that, I looked into it. You have to basically have a sort of a membership account. It would cost a, quite a bit of money for, for me as the, you know, to set it up if I needed an IT person to sort of hook that all up for me. If not, I mean, I can do the basics and save a little bit of money there, but that's a lot of time involved regardless. And then I would have to charge a fee, a membership fee, a little, let's say like a, a few dollars a month. I really don't want to do that either. I've always pride myself on the ability to provide people with free information. And if they choose, they can pay for other information like my books and things. So I don't want to do that. I want to do free. But where is the platform where I can get a little bit of income to basically make up for my time? People don't realize this, that I should be offering everything for free. I get that. I want that. But at the same time, I spend about three to four hours a night doing videos, doing research, bringing out this information, commenting, replying to emails, everything. It's like three to four hours every single day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. In fact, on my honeymoon, I was working, if you can believe that or not. That's the way this works. You're always on. You're always trying to be helpful, be supportive, be engaged. And as a result, you get kicked in the backside. So anyway, that's all for this video here. I hope that you enjoyed it. We'll see what happens in the near future. But uh, until then, I'll see you soon.